<laughs> Don't ever tell my boss. I know. I know. Texting. You're telling. Who else? Yes, ma'am. specific thinking. It'll, it'll give us more introspection into what you're thinking specifically and what you're trying to target. It'll also give you room to build up to a larger application. So say we want to make sure what happens often when you have a large project is when you get to the outcomes it's tough to measure it even with a set of metrics that we know. So if we could start you off by more discrete you know steps in the building process. It's kind of a way to, to help you with planning, if you will. Uh, so it should make sense, uh, hopefully, yeah. So submit multiples. It's good with us. Um, and that way you know, too, that you've got this taken care of as well. Is there a max dollar amount for each one? There is, for each one, yeah. You gotta do a uh, Well, on, on the letter of intent, you don't have to show a match. On the application, you do. So I'm not, I don't, I'm not concerned about that. I'm concerned about naming partners and then going after a match. But that'll give you time to figure out what your match is for next year. Yes, sir. Yeah, I'm, I'm, I'm a retired high school teacher. And what I'm looking at, I'm listening to this, and I don't hear student skills. What do you want for them to graduate from college, come out of high school, and get a job? Right. And and basically, they're coming out, 10% only of high school students now get computer training. So, you can't type, you can't pass the uh, better balance, you can't do those things. You know, what does industry want? What skills do they want right. from it? Instead of saying, these pathways, I wanna know, out of all pathways, what does industry want you to come out their students with presentation skills, computer skills, writing skills, reading skills, math skills? What is the focus of those? And there's a basic math skills or what level? Uh, really, all I heard was kind of the, and this was one comment, how do we do it? No, it's results for the students results for the students. And that's what I, you know, that's what I think is really important. That's, and they can get a job. Right. Thank you for that. I uh, appreciate your time in high schools too. I, I think that we haven't really talked about what goes in an application. And I think that that's a lot what you're, what you're, what you're citing. Because there are caveats. And, so give me a few minutes and I'll get to those slides that talk about that because the pre-employment skills are very, very important. There's a call out for that in the application because we want to make sure that those are streamlined. What we know to be true is this local control um, system is that we don't necessarily have one way of doing it. And so there are some that use get focus, stay focus. There are others that use uh, new world of work. There are others that use other products to, to serve the people. Yeah, go ahead. So what, you know, we are the experts. I, I don't believe that we have to go to others to get a, to find a remedy. We, we are the workforce practitioners and we are the experts with, you know, the faculty knowledge. Um, and one of the things that we're doing at the community college level, which, you know, is being done at the K-12 level, is having the conversations with industry folks. Long gone are the days that we just uh, develop programs and curriculum in a silo without knowing what the um, skills are, the demands are for you know our talent in the in industry. And so, to answer that question, you have to be in conversation with people who are employing our students. Right? They tell us what what skills we need. Are there foundational skills? Those those anchor skills that are not taught in the classroom. Yes, you got to have those, and it's real simplistic, you know, showing up at work on time, knowing how to navigate your way around uh, the workplace to resources, to remedies, uh, 
they want proactive students, right? They want proactive workforce not coming to work to, to be handed a formula. So that those questions that you ask could be answered in conversations with your local employers. And they should be part of these projects that are developed because they're gonna inform what kind of competencies, what kind of skills are needed in the workforce, and then you embed that into a treatment, into whatever it is, uh, whatever your activity is. So do you have a list? Yeah, absolutely. There's, 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 there are lists, and there are ones that have been vetted with business and industry, and there are ones that you probably have locally that have done that too. And so, and we follow those, uh, those pieces. So I think that's where the fun comes into this, is how do we create programs that are actually meeting those? The other thing too is I don't think that we were um, shy on talking about outcomes either. Again, 